Hey guys, today we are at Osaka Namba Station. We are heading to Kobe today from Osaka. Firstly, let me show you guys how to get there. This is how the Osaka Namba Station looks like. From Osaka to Kobe, it takes about an hour. If you are heading to Nara or Kyoto, you can use this line as well. That's very useful line. If you are heading to Nara, take the train from one or two. But if you are going to Kobe, take the train from number three. Our first destination is Chinatown at Motomachi. So this is the way to go. We are going to Amagasaki. It takes about 20 minutes. <laughs> this train is kind of special because we have a hero here. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. We arrived to Amagasaki Station and now change the train going to Kobe, just in front of it from number five. This is the one. Seems like this train is more crowded, but still, there are empty seats inside. Ooh, finally, we arrived to Motomachi Station. It was a long way. From number two here, it costs 420 Japanese yen. Oh, not bad. Ooh, what a beautiful day! Loving it! Okay, so here is the map. We are over here, and the Chinatown is over here. And also the Bay Area. Today, we are planning to eat at a Chinatown and explore the Harbor Land. So firstly, let's go to the Chinatown. This is the way. It's 33 degrees now, but uh, it's super humid, so that's why feels really hot and uh, I guess can ride it oh there is an arcade it's a big arcade but somehow there are many stores closed also not so many restaurants are maybe because of the Chinatown is just next to the street so the all of the restaurant is back street so let's go to the Chinatown <laughs> this tiny street feels like taking me to the Chinatown. Welcome. Ah, oh, sweet. Yep. Yeah. Now we're at Chinatown. Let's go back to the entrance. All right, so we came back to the entrance. Let's explore the Chinatown. So this is the map of the Chinatown. The station was over here, and the we are over here. Seems like it's a bit smaller compared to the Yokohama Chinatown. <laughs> Look at that, the 100% real Kobe beef. You know, since we are in Kobe, why don't we start with the Kobe beef sushi? They have a special one over here. Oh wait, they have a roasted Kobe beef. I've tried this Kobe beef sushi before, so why don't we try the roasted beef one today? Price is 700 Japanese yen. Not bad. Alright, sweet. It's perfect way to start the trip. The Kobe trip. There is a wasabi on top and it's roasted beef. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's so <laughs> really soft, perfectly matches with wasabi. Let's explore more. Oh, there is a claw machine place. <laughs> the golden pig claw machine and also dumpling wine. It does sound like a Chinatown. What else? Oh, and the sushi wine. Oh, and the panda. Wait, seems like this is not panda. <laughs> Something different. Oh, but in the middle, there is a Chinatown panda and a meat ban one. Why not? Let's do it. This time, hopefully, I can get it. Probably, I should try something closer one. Maybe over there. 
I think this is perfect. Let's go. <gasps> How sweet. I think I can get it. Oh, yes. No. I knew it. Oh, I didn't. But I knew it. Anyway, that's okay. <laughs> Maybe next time we can get it. Let's keep working. Many store opens. But seems like not so many people though. Oh, look at these restaurants. They have a Beijing duck noodle. Interesting. I've never tried it. Why not? Let's try that. Let's do it. Inside the store, there is ACM. So it's much better eating, you know, compared to outside. So here, I ordered the orange juice as well. Come by. I was thirsty. Psycho. By the way, this is really old fashioned. I thought it's orange soda, but uh, it's orange juice. Either way. So here we go. Oh my goodness, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Outside is super hot. So yeah, definitely way to better eat it inside. Oh shit. Uh, speaking of ramen noodle, it's totally different compared to the Japanese one. I guess it's a Chinese style one. Probably I'd better mix it with this shoyu vinegar. Let me see. It'll be stronger taste. Well, maybe I can place it more. Hmm. Compared to Japanese ramen, this Chinese style ramen noodle is much weaker taste. So that's why maybe I'd better mix it with the other ingredients. Interesting. Oh, that was pretty good. Including the drink, it was 700 Japanese yen. However, the price is good, but uh, you know, since you are in Japan, probably if you want to eat the ramen, uh, you'd better eat some Japanese ramen store. Or if you want to eat the Beijing duck, probably you can try that restaurant too. <laughs> That's okay. Let's keep walking. Oh, here they have the hedgehog bang. I tried it in Yokohama and it was pretty good. And look at that, they have the panda cider as well. It looks like Chinatown. That's pretty cute. And here, also they have the sweet potato shaped ice cream. That looking pretty good, but seems like it's a little bit big, so maybe we can try it next time. There is a long line in front of the fruit store. They have shaped ice cream, so yeah, totally makes sense. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Panda Ben. So cute. And we are already at the center of the Kobe Chinatown. Oh, it's 155th year's anniversary. Long history. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, there is Kobe beef steak store over here too. Seems like this side of Chinatown not so many people, huh? There is a Chinese supermarket too. Probably this place, I can find something that I can't find in the usual restaurants. I used to study in Wuhan, China. There are so many ingredients that uh, we can't find it in Japan. So those kind of, you know, Chinese supermarket, really important for me. Yep. They have a Wagyu beef croquette and a, oh, look at that. It's shrimp and hotates menchikatsu with turtle sauce. This must be good. Why not? Let's try it. I'm wondering how much it is. Oh, the price is 324 Japanese yen. Not bad. Let's do it. Itadakimasu. Let's eat it over here. Sweet. You know, one good thing about Kobe Chinatown is that uh, there are the places to eat in front of the restaurant. So it's much easier I can find a place to eat. That's something what I love here. Anyway, 
So, いただきます Mmm! めっちゃ美味しい Well, even it's not just deep fried, but、uh, perfectly matches with this turtle sauce with seafood. And still, it's crispy as well. It's my very first time to try the seafood. Menchi katsu? Actually, it tastes pretty good. If you like the you know, deep fried shrimp, then definitely you will like this too. I'm loving it. Oh, now? I feel like I'm in the Chinatown in Japan. You know why? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the gachapon over here. Even in the Chinatown, we have gachapon. Oh, and also. <laughs> Is this the Bruce Lee? <laughs> Not sure. And、uh, Jackie Chan as well. Oh, and it seems like already we are at the end of the Chinatown. Even it was a bit small Chinatown. But、uh, there are so many stores, and、uh, I really enjoyed it. We came back to Motomachi Station. If you are heading to Kobe Station, it's only two stations away by JR. But today, we are not gonna use the JR, we will use the bicycle. There is rental cycle port, Dokomo Akachari. So let's rent the bike. In Kobe, 60 minutes for 150 Japanese yen. So, yep, it's really convenient and cheap. I can just press the start button and read the QR code. It will be ready. Sweet. It's the e bike. You have to download the app and you have to register it, but you know, it's really convenient. So, if you're okay with biking, probably. You'd better register it and you can enjoy with biking in Japan. So let's go. Now we are heading to the Harbor Land, almost the Bayside. Feels so good. Oh, the Kobe Port Tower is now renewing. I see, I didn't know that. So, someone visiting Kobe Tower, be careful. We arrived to Mary Kim Park. This is one of the signature places of Kobe. Just over there. There is a really nice Starbucks. Alright, just arrived to the signature spot. B Kobe. Beautiful. You see the Ferris wheel in front of you. That's the place we are heading to right now. But before. Let's enjoy the park a little bit. I really enjoy and love the sound of waves and the smell of the ocean. Really relaxing place. Can't remember when was the last time I took a selfie over here. Be cold. Yep. During the pandemic. That was really fun, sir. Let's keep cycling. Let's go. This bay area really peaceful. Okay, so this is a place I can return the bike. When I return the bike, just lock it and press the drop off button over here. Now, Already done. This is a map of the harbor around the area. We are over here, and the Kobe station is over here. If you are coming from Osaka station, maybe you can come over to JR Kobe station, explore the harbor around the area, and you can go to the Chinatown place, which is over here. If you want to go back to the Osaka number station, not the JR Kobe station, but the Kosok Kobe Station. This is the Hankyu line so that we can ride on this train and just going back to the Osaka Damba Station. Let's explore the Umie Mosaic Shopping Mall. h o 
hopefully I can have some nice shaped ice cream. This shopping mall, there is an Ampama Museum. There is an Ampama Museum in Yokohama too. Oh, there is a kitty land. Also, Gigo. Oh, seems like there is a chroma in place. Let's go. <laughs> Many small chrome machines, which is a cheap sweets. Five times 100 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness, look at this one. The ramen chrome machines. <laughs> <laughs> so cute! There is a basketball game as well, but this one is super advanced. Wow, seems like a new one. <laughs> and also the kids can play as well, this one. <laughs> nice, <laughs> really entertaining spot. Came up to the second floor. Oh, nice street. <laughs> Look at this telephone box. Oh, really? I thought that's a kind of object, but uh, you can actually use it. <laughs> the Studio Ghibli shop, in front of it, there is a Totoro Gachapon. <laughs> there are several different faces, but pretty similar. <laughs> Anyways, you can get the Totoro. Oh, I see. On top, there is a Mei-chan and a small Totoro. 500 Japanese yen. It's cute. Last time when I was here, because it was uh, during the pandemic, not so many people. However, even on the weekday, there are so many people over here. <laughs> and uh, now I know how to call it. There is a soft serve. <laughs> In Japanese, soft cream. Oh, this Bikkuri Donkey has the truck. Never seen this before. By the way, Bikri Donkey is a good and cheap hamburger steak restaurant. Hamburger steak is really popular dish in Japan. The steak, but mixed with the bread powder, it's much healthier and the light. Yummy. So if you never tried it, try the hamburger steak. Now we are at the bayside. There is a beach. And also, the <laughs> really spaghetti store. I thought that's a shaped ice cream store. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, oh, Lotteria. Now they have the limited menu, the shaped ice cream. The strawberry wine, only 300 Japanese yen. Must be good. Let's do it. Hi, Sasha Adamas. Sweet. All right. Let's go. Before it get melted, let's go to the Bay Area. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, before I eat, already, you know, it gets less because it's melted. But it's okay. Must be good. Itadakimasu. Mm. It's delicious. The condensed milk with the strawberry. That's always good and I love it. Mm. Uh, probably uh, if I mix, it would be better. So that, you know, I can have more condensed milk. <laughs> yep, now it became more creamy. <laughs> Itadakimasu. <laughs> well, you know, since it's totally melted, probably I'd better drink it like a sherbet. Mm. Yeah, I can drink it like a drink. So, <laughs> not sure I can call it as a shaped ice cream or not, but uh, I love it. I love this Bay Area, it's always peaceful. And especially not that crowded in the weekday. So, yeah. Uh, I guess it's from the Comchelto ship from there. I can hear the sound of trumpet. I thought this place would be more crowded because it's, you know, summer vacation. 
but uh, there are small kids. However, it's not as many as I thought. You know, it's the perfect place for the kids. So could be more people over here. Maybe you know because it's too hot. And uh, now it's before Obong, which is the super crowded. You know, the holiday week. So yeah, many people are just staying house. Not sure, but uh, that's how I feel. Anyway, I love this place now. Oh, Kobe Motomachi Doria. From this place, smells really good. Uh, look at those Doria. That's my favorite dish. The cheese, rice, always good. Uh, this carbonara looks pretty good too. If I were hungry, definitely, you know, I would enter that restaurant and I tried it out. Oh, they have a Calvi Plus shop. They will just dip right in front of you and you can eat the fresh made potato chips. The price is 300 Japanese yen. Yeah? But uh, this pizza potato wine, I recommend it. It's pretty good, 430 Japanese yen. Yeah? Oh, now they have wasabi mayonnaise, sounds good too. There is kendama, which is really popular traditional Japanese play. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's my first time to see this continue one. Some really good people can do it, the all the balls on here, but uh, I don't think I can never do it. <laughs> never mind. There is cotton candy shop and also 10 yen bread. Recently, 10 yen bread is everywhere in Japan somehow. It's really popular. At the end, there is Anpanma Museum and also the Ferris wheel. <laughs> there is a maze. Oh my goodness, the entrance. There are so many hooting, which is a wind chime. <laughs> Kids must love it. Oh, and also there is a place to play with water. Nice. And here we go. I always wish if I could ride on the Paris wheel. It would be really fun. One round is about 10 minutes and the price is 800 Japanese yen. You can't bring the food. There is no waiting time. Well, compared to other first wheel, this first wheel is relatively smaller. However, <laughs> since I have a phobia on high price, so... Yeah, maybe next time. You know, it's always swinging the first wheel, right? So, uh, I'm just afraid of it. Oh, there is an Ampaman bread store. <laughs> And uh, this is something still they have. The yellow one is all sold out. But the uh, melon pan chan and also the dokin chan, those two ladies are not as popular as others. Feel sorry. Or maybe they make a lot. You know, they make extra and extra and extra. <laughs> there is always some popular one and uh, not that popular one. And uh, I always feel sorry to the not that popular one. So. Maybe I should get one. <laughs> or maybe not because I'm full. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Ah, look at this table. It's cute. What kind of restaurant it is? Oh, it's Capri Choza. This place used to be my favorite pasta place when I was in the high school. Really, they have a 45th anniversary and 45% uh, more. <laughs> good deal. My memory is right. It was a really good and cheap restaurants. So I used to love it. You know, I can't count how many times I've been there. But uh, for high school kids, you know, only some fun situation. For example, you know, if you are trying to be cool and uh, try to invite someone, I usually go that restaurant. Yes, I know. It is not that fancy. Now I know. But uh, for me, when I was a high school kid, <laughs> that was a fancy place. Don't judge me. 
<laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's keep walking. We are at the Umiya shopping mall. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Nice. There is Uniqlo, El Press, Bookstore, and the Toys R Us, and the H&M's. Oh, interesting. There is a rental store as well. Actually, it's free. You can just, you know, insert the 100 Japanese yen. And when you return it, you can get the money back. And here, we have Krispy Kreme Donuts. Uh, I personally prefer the Mr. Donuts more, though. Oh, this one? Interesting. There is many balls going down from the top and going to the bottom. In the bottom, there are so many tricks going all the way down, all the way down, and eventually the ball coming over here and going up again. Wow, that's nice. Oh my goodness, look at the crowd. Moving so fast. The recently the typhoon is coming. So you know there are so many places that suddenly rains, suddenly becomes super hot, suddenly becomes super cold. So yeah, maybe because of that uh, has a super strong wind. I've never seen, you know, such a fast move of the crowd. I was planning to go into this west part of Japan to travel. However, due to the typhoon, I canceled it. You know, but it's okay. I can always go there. But uh, if while I'm traveling, typhoon came, I have to stay at the hotel all day. So definitely wouldn't be fun. So yeah, maybe next time. Okay, so seems like this is the way to go. JR Kobe Station and also Kosok Kobe Station. Nice. Seems like this underground street all the way down to the Kobe Station. Really convenient. Even you have no idea how to go back, there is always the sign. And uh, yeah, seems like that's the way. If you are using the JR station, that's the JR Kobe station and uh, Hankyu or Hansi Lai, still you have to go straight. Oh nice, there is a street piano here too. Very nice. <laughs> well, to be honest, here, uh, even it's underground, not that AC much, so kind of hard, but uh, yeah, I guess it's still better walking under sunshine, so. Let's keep walking. <laughs> no complaint. Seems like we have to walk a while going to the Kosok Kobe station. Oh, they sell karage, 168 Japanese yen for 100 gram. Nice. Here, already we arrived. Not that bad. About five minutes walk from JR Kobe station. I want to have the cafe latte. This large size latte, only 300 Japanese yen. That's a good deal. I have to ride on the train about an hour, so this will be my body. Let's keep walking. So we need to take a train from number two. Oh, uh, not that one. The next one. Next one is the expressway going until Osaka station. But since we are heading back to Osaka number station, we will change the train at Amagasaki station though. Seems like it's a little bit crowded. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know what? Our destination was Osaka number station. And we are at Osaka Umeda station which is the last stop. I was too tired and uh, I was sleeping. 
when I need to change the train and uh, end up at the last stop of the Umeda station. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> That's okay. You know, let me show you guys how to get to Nampa station from Umeda station from here. So, <laughs> let's keep walking. <laughs> From here, it costs 460 Japanese yen. And uh, we will use the Midosuji line, which is the Osaka Metro. It's the rush hour time, so Osaka Station, super crowded. And here we go. If we go platform number two, you are going to the Shin Osaka Station, which is the Shinkansen one. For going to Namba, use the platform number one. This is the way to go. Goodness, super crowded, as usual. From Osaka to Namba, 240 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness, look at the sky. Beautiful. Today, let's take the ending over here. Ooh. Still, it's really quiet. I love this place. Oh, and uh, something I wanted to share about the news. Right now, the train I see called Suika, which you can buy it in Tokyo. You can't buy it at the vending machines anymore. That's what I heard. But now still you can buy it on the mobile app. So make sure to get it on mobile app. Especially if you have an Apple Watch, as you see me, you know, you can just touch and enter. That's really convenient. Even if you install it to the cell phone, you can just touch and enter. So if you have a smartphone, make sure to download the app and get it before you come over to Japan. And also, <laughs> if you are visiting Osaka, it doesn't matter because you can always buy it the Ikoka, which is totally same one with Suika. You can use it in Tokyo too. So I don't know, maybe too many travelers visiting Tokyo and making Suika. So yeah. Uh, except other places, you can still get it on the vending machine as well, so don't worry about it. That's something what I wanted to share. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy virtual traveling to Kobe. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Also, there are more adventures are coming, so if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell button to join the adventure so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreons. Alright, so hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. See no girl. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Let's go. <laughs> Behind the scene, you know, I go far and come back and pick up the cam and we bike. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. So, see you in the next video. Go!